Hey guys, it's Lori. I am here to do your three month reading. So October, November, December. Let us see what we've got going on for you. I have done a an October reading for you, but let's go ahead and do the next three months. I want to point out, you've got the Ace of Cups on the bottom of the deck. I've been shuffling and that card just keeps showing up. So there's going to be some fresh new starts here for you. Let's go ahead and do five cards for October because there's five weeks. We'll do four for November, four for December. We're going to take and have two Oracle cards. astrology card sorry about the shaking camera an enchanted map message and then we will pull some tea leaves at the end okay we will also have other messages all right so let's see what is happening in october the first week of october looks like it's going to be all about working and working hard but it looks like your work will be recognized and um, appreciated. Okay, yes, definitely. In the second week, you will receive some sort of gift, a bonus, or something else to do with this job that you, whatever it is you put the effort into, this could be a relationship, okay? It could definitely be a relationship, but I'm getting career. It's about making money. Things are definitely going well. Um, you're being recognized for that. You're receiving a bonus or a gift of love from somebody. Okay. Appreciation, I should say. In the third week, you are going to be showing compassion to somebody here in October. Okay, you it's going to take a lot of your strength um, to maintain during the month of the third week of October. It looks like to the end, okay, the fourth week, that's funny, the fourth week, you are hunkered down. You are um, not budging. You're not moving. You are not doing anything. You're not allowing anything or anyone to sway you from something here. OK, you're I'm also hearing for some of you in the fourth week of October, you you are like not playing with your money. You're not risking your money. You're not gambling. You're not playing the market. You're you're holding. You're in a holding pattern for now. OK, but it looks like in the fifth week, something inspires you um, to take to to take action to move forward to do something okay definitely really good energy here okay let's put them out so you can see them okay all right so this looks really good for october it looks like uh you're gonna make some money okay so i am getting that here in the first part first couple of weeks this is about investing too Okay, definitely good energy here. Let's see what the, um, I'm hearing you're moving mountains. Wow. There could be trouble here brewing in the, in the fourth week and four, five, six. Double sixes, double fours. Okay, you've got something going on here. Um, fear is an illusion. Choose love today. Forgive yourself and others. Okay, so this is the goblins of being tied up in your head. So whatever it is, I said it was in the fourth week here. Okay, whatever's got you holding down. Um, it's, a, it's something that you don't truly have to worry about. Okay. You have to, um, again, choose love, forgive yourself and others. So being compassionate, 
Whatever happens in the third week, you're being challenged by the fourth week to address that, okay? And this mountain says, um, you have the capacity to flow around any obstacle. This is the time to adapt, okay? It says here, sometimes you'll come across what appears to be an insurmountable object, like a huge mountain that separates you from your success. You might think that climbing it or chiseling away at it is the answer. But why take such a treacherous, tedious approach? Be like the rivers that flow around mountains naturally. You'll move past this obstacle relatively quickly if you choose the easy way around. This is the time to adapt to your circumstances. If you do decide to climb, remember to take one step at a time, opting for the next right action, okay? And for you, you are mutable this time. You you need to use fluidity. It's all about this whole month of October, okay? You, you've put the hard work in. Now you're being rewarded for it. Now you just need to sit back, relax, let things happen naturally, okay? Go with the flow. There will be changes here, okay? But surrender to them welcome them because change is good all right so you might be affected by people around you who are um a gemini oh actually i think i think gemini is in retrograde no there's something about gemini right now that is influencing people's attitudes and stuff um but you have gemini virgo sagittarius and pisces those may be people you know employers co-workers, family, bankers, financial advisors, okay? And we have here um, from the spirit animal, card 20, dolphin spirit, this and that are true. Yeah, you're in a period of change here in the third to fourth week, all right? So while you're transitioning from, you know, being challenged and having to show compassion here, all right, you're going to feel a little bit stressed out, a little bit worried, a little concerned, but you can get through any difficult time that you have simply by um, choosing the path of least resistance. So understanding that things change and when you welcome the change, it makes it easier. Okay. All right. And then you've got seahorse spirit. Watch and wait. Hmm. Yeah, kind of just let it be. Don't force anything. Path of least resistance here, okay? All right. I'm going to push that up there so we can actually see these a little bit. All right. So in November, what have we got in the first week? A victory. See, you come through this just fine. People are actually going to be talking about what, what a success you've had. I am hearing that some of you, um, you're, you're writing a paper, you're writing a project, you're writing a grant, you're writing something, okay? And it's going to be approved. Whatever this is, it's going to be approved. Now, that's only for a few people out there, okay? Okay. But everybody has some sort of success come out of whatever this situation was. Whatever this change was, it was for your benefit because you're leveling up here right in the very first week of November. Look at this. By the second week of November, you are feeling confident and very, very emotionally satisfied. Okay. Even though um, you've had some ups and downs here with whatever's going on, you're feeling now emotionally satisfied. Mm. Wow. Right around the holiday time, things are going to get a little bit challenging here. Somebody may actually step up to you and question you about your money, challenge you about your own money. <laughs> I'm sorry, but the I'm feeling like Wow, the audacity of this person to do this. Who do they think they are? And they do. They're very arrogant. They And the thing, the message I'm getting here is that they have absolutely no right, no right whatsoever 
to bring money into a conversation with you. They have absolutely no right to do that. I'm seeing four, five, and six. See how this one's up above? You're elevated. So whoever this person is, you will be victorious against this. Okay. Um, what I'm hearing is, is that you're going to have to set this person aside. Take this person aside and have a conversation between the two of you. Do not do this conversation in front of a group of people. Okay, because that will only shame this person and this person's arrogant as it is. If you hurt their ego any further, they're just going to rebel even more. Okay, so I'm getting a strong, like, child challenging their parent here over money. Oh. Okay, yes, take them aside. Okay, leave other people out of it and it will eliminate the drama. It will minimize the drama okay all right so by the end of november this hard conversation is going to have to take place let's see what the enchanted maps messages here are okay we've got 22 which is intention and then we have 36 which is commitment yes both of these pertain to um this person So 22 says, deliberate, clear intentions have the power to change your world. And it's coming after this situation. So you need to set clear intentions with this person is what I'm hearing. The commitment to the relationship. Again, this is this is somebody that um, I don't think you really have a choice on whether you deal with them or not. Like I'm getting a strong sense that this is a child or somebody that you will have to encounter the rest of your life unless you choose to walk away permanently, you know, like even so. Okay. So commitment, a true commitment is a responsibility of the heart, the mind, body, and soul. This is a good time to make one. Okay. The message here says, Partnerships are formed at this time are harmonious and powerful. The commitment card also indicates the natural evolution of a relationship from its inception to a literal or metaphorical marriage. So it means that you'll be able to repair this situation. At the very least, there is a promise of fulfillment in some form. However, you must be conscious of what you're committing to. Be clear about the nature of your commitment and your responsibility to it. So it's that intention that you have, you're going to have to set to be very clear on. <clears throat> Others are more willing to enter into partnerships at this time. Remember that your partnership with spirit and the highest version of your own self will engage the highest self in another. Okay, so how you conduct yourself and trusting in your intuition will open this person up. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, let's see what astrological, House 11, this is about friends, like-minded groups, and humanitarian beliefs. So yes, that fits completely with what's going on here. You can resolve this, okay? I am getting here that it could be a friend who's challenging you. I mean, again, why would a friend feel that they have any right to talk about your money with you? Okay. And I mean, this is challenge. This is a real challenging. This is not them saying, hey, you know, do you think you're spending too much? No, they're like, oh, I don't even want to get into it. It's not good. They come at you as if they are like, it's their money. <laughs> okay. All right. So, anyways, you will be able to repair this situation, okay? House 11 is talking all about your friends, like-minded groups, and your hum humanitarian beliefs. So, your, uh, your sense of we can resolve this will help to resolve the situation. All right, we have here, dog spirit, be loyal to what you love. And then we have starfish spirit, 59, open to infinite possibilities, okay? I don't have any place else to put them, so I'm just going to put them here. Dog spirit. It is about being loyal, okay, to 
your friendship, your child. Let's see what it says here. I got the wrong book because that says Dragon's Lair. <laughs> Dog spirit is about being loyal and true. All right. It says, Dog Spirit appears to remind you that although change is a part of your of life and all of us are meant to evolve, our love and commitments remain strong. You are loved now and can trust that this higher love is true. Spirit loves you and love has arrived in many forms right now, manifesting in the people you surround yourself with, expressed uniquely through them. Dog Spirit also says, be true to that which you love for now is a good time of fortune a time of good fortune be steady as you recognize that people and things are always transforming okay so whoever this is they are changing okay they're transforming your heart is loving and true and dog spirit wants you to know that your steadfast commitment to experiencing and expressing love will attract and manifest more love. You deserve all of it. Have faith in spirit's plan for you. So again, setting your intentions of love, of coming at this person from the right place, okay? Not to put them back in their place, but to come at them with a from a uh, perspective of caring. Okay, you're my child, you are my friend, you are whoever you are. You know, my intention is to set you, you know, to set this straight. We're not going to talk about my money because it's none of your business. Okay, or whatever this is. It may not be money for everyone, but you are being challenged. You are being challenged by somebody that you are close to. Okay, all right, so open to infinite possibilities here. Um, I think that makes pretty much sense the way it, it's written right there. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Yeah, okay. Stretched out on the beach, the starfish opens fully to the rays of the sun, to the power of potential. As you look out toward the horizon, do you open up to infinite possibility? Spirit is the source of opportunities beyond your wildest imagination and ensures endless possibilities are available to you. At this time, Starfish Spirit urges you to stretch past the limits of your everyday perception and comfort zone, to dream of bigger things and imagine with even greater hope and faith, for miraculous potential is shining down on you Feel it, bask in it, and open yourself to be filled with inspiration. This is a very fortunate sign that Starfish Spirit has come to remind you of your infinite potential. I love that message for you guys. That is beautiful. So that sums up uh, the month of November. Let's see what's happening in December here. Oh, you are sitting pretty. Okay, so things turn out well here. Definitely. You know your self-worth and now you are being respected. Okay. This person is definitely seeing you and respecting you. Okay. That is awesome. That is really good. So I'm also getting financially, again, it's pentacles. It's about earthly goods. It looks like things are going to um, turn around here. So there may have been a financial loss of some sort here. I did kind of pick up on that a little bit. Whatever it is, it's recovered here. Okay, so in December, you may go the whole month of November feeling a little um, pinch of the pennies there or tightening up the belt or whatever, which is unfortunate because it is, you know, we do have Thanksgiving in there. But I'm getting that if you are grateful for what you do have, you're going to come through this beautifully. Okay, don't overspend for the holidays. I just heard that. Don't do that because that puts you in a bind. Okay. All right. So in the second week, you are going to be asked to focus or you are going to be focused on something. I'm getting your future. You're looking towards the future. You're really, really passionate about something here. Um, growing something, a relationship 
something that inspires you. So a new skill, a new hobby, or something that you've done in the past that you're you're suddenly deciding you, you're going to put all your attention on, okay? So the second week of December, something intrigues you. Something sparks a passion in you, a, um, a desire. Let's see what's happening in the third week. Ooh, the cup of love. All right, so somebody may come towards you asking you out on a date or to an event, something that's going to make you feel very good, okay? It doesn't have to be romantic. This can be an invitation to anything that makes you feel good, makes you feel a part of something, makes you feel included, respected, cared for. So this is right around the time of Christmas too, okay? So somebody may be coming towards you with a message of love at that time. Okay. Okay, so the last week of the year, you are ending all negative behaviors. And I'm hearing that for most of you at this point, you've only got one, maybe two vices that you'd like to see gone. Okay, so this is your commitment to the New Year's resolutions. You are deciding, you know what, I'm done with any toxic behaviors that I've been participating in or allowing into my life. I'm not going to, I'm not going to participate in that kind of behavior anymore. Okay. So for some of you, this may be allowing people to challenge your self-worth. Okay. Make you question who you are. You're done with that. You're not going to allow that anymore. Some of you will be giving up, you know, um, I, I really am getting a strong sense that most of this is a mental change. Okay. Like not allowing negativity into your life. Um, you're going to focus on the positive instead of the negative. So maybe you're, maybe you received, huh, that's funny. Maybe some of you received the book, The Secret, which is about the laws of attraction, the law of attraction. Okay. And you see what it is you need to let go of. So this is your new year's resolution to move forward without these temptations, these negative um, thoughts. Some of you, yes, are going to be quitting smoking, maybe cutting back on the amount you drink if you drink at all. If you don't drink, then that's not for you. If you don't smoke, that's not for you. Um, some of you are going to start an exercise. Th this is your New Year's resolution to stop the toxic behaviors, okay? So that's good. I mean, you're, you're setting resolutions, which <sighs> what we focus on expands. Okay. So keep in mind, if you are trying to quit smoking, you're not talking and thinking in your head about every cigarette you don't have. You're thinking about in the future. I feel good because I'm not smoking. I feel great because I can exercise. I you don't even mention smoking. It's a thing of the past. Okay. Or whatever it is. Don't mention that thing because you want it out of your life. The more you mention it, the more it's going to show up. All right, let's see what we've got going here in the Enchanted map. Yeah, a balancing act for sure. Oh, but you're tapping in. Yeah, I'm getting a strong sense some of you are really delving into the vortex, the law of attraction, okay? Some of you may be watching Abraham Hicks, Beyond Belief, whatever, um, inspired whatever it is, whoever you're watching, um, you are connecting. You're bringing your life back into harmony. Let me, I do want to read you these two. So this is a great way to end the year, okay? To be harmonious, balanced. Okay, you are calm within, no matter what the fluctuation of outer conditions there are times when things seem a bit topsy-turvy and it feels as if you're juggling a thousand balls in the air. Perhaps you're unsure of your footing. Now is the moment to evaluate which areas of your life need balance. And then restore equilibrium, okay? Choose harmony over discord and great success will be yours. 
you'll find inner stability when you choose a balanced, focused, and level path. Okay, so that speaks back here to being focused. Okay, and it does bring emotional satisfaction and it does cause you to want to release the things that don't serve you. All right, Magic Stream says everything is connected through the universal flow of consciousness, the law of attraction. Every experience you have seems to have its own life story with a beginning, a middle, and eventually an end. However, there is danger in seeing events as separate from one another, since in fact they are all part of a continuity and a greater evolution. Like an ever-flowing magic stream, your experiences filter through the whole world, one leading into another, informing and influencing still more. Inspiration, invention, and revelations rarely come to just one person. The collective awareness is a shared storehouse of potential. When you remember that you're part of the fluid continuity of life, you become a channel for great inspiration. Allow the magic to flow through you and carry your dreams into reality. Your success will benefit many. Okay, so that's talking about the laws of attraction. All right, let's see what we have astrologically for you. House 12. So we have house 11 in the 11th month, and we have house 12 in the 12th month. I love it. Spirituality, transcendence, karma, sacrificial service, and healing. I mean, that sums this whole thing up beautifully. Absolutely. You're connecting with your spirituality through the law of attraction. You know, you really, if you've never seen the movie or the, the, program the secret okay watch it or read the book it's an incredibly informative i love it all right so that's very good energy for you there and what we have here look at this again 42 and then 43 so there are synchronicities happening here for you and you're giving spirits giving you a lot of messages here okay 42 is otter spirit and it says you are never alone and then you've got card 43, which is Owl Spirit. You see clearly now, okay? I'm going to read you, you see clearly now. Owl Spirit, this is wisdom, okay? 42 and 43 suggests that you're moving in the right direction, okay? Owl Spirit arrives to remind you that the wisdom within you is informed by your keen senses and the wisdom within the consciousness that we all share. We just talked about that collective consciousness. Even in the darkest night, the owl sees clearly and is guided by every sense it has, including the first sense of intuition. Right now, your sensitivities are turbocharged and you are receiving messages from all directions. Yeah, three months worth of synchronicities and messages right here. Owl spirit reminds you to be wise and pay attention to what's between the lines. What is invisible to the naked eye? What cannot be heard with the ears and what others may not be able to perceive? I'm going to let that sink in a little. With all your senses aroused, you have much knowledge available to you. Clarity will come as you sit with all that you are sensing, allowing your intuition to guide you in understanding the whole and not just the parts. Let your wisdom arise and be your guide as you trust the acuity of all your senses. Intuition is real and can provide the clarity that you need to understand your situation right now. Your relationships, your finances, your job, Whatever it is, you can see the truth clearly now. When you tap in, tune, tune in, turn on, you put yourself in touch with everything that you need. You finally understand that you really do have the capability to manifest the life that you want, anything that you want in your life. So this is really beautiful. I'm real, I really enjoyed this three month reading for you guys. Incredible energy here. And I'm, you know, this is pretty smooth sailing. 
if you look at it overall for three months, there's not a lot bad happening here. You're getting this challenge here, and there might be a little bit of a financial pinch, like the market may do something funny or whatever, okay? Maybe you overspent, who knows? Anyways, is there anything else that I want to give you here? Mm. Nope, I think... I think that's it. So if this message resonated with you at all, go ahead and like it. If this message uh, feels like what could happen for you over the next three months, go ahead and claim it in the comments. Um, you can come back and revisit this too at the end of uh, October, at the end of November, and at the end of December to see. Set a calendar. Set a reminder in your calendar to come back at the end of October, November, and December and re-watch this video. OK, so you can see if this happened for you or not. It may all happen. Some of it may happen. Some of it may happen off by a month, but it is timeless. So come back and check it out. All right. Love you guys. Until our energy crosses again, I'm wishing you much peace, love and happiness. Bye bye.